Hi there, Jim Hale for S3 Air Systems. Today we're gonna to talk about their new product, UFO Aeration. Here you can see the completed durable powder coated steel frame construction and the large mega louver design that allows four times more airflow than traditional steel louver designs. Here I'm just bolting the uh, stage halves together. You can see how the components lock together with just a counterclockwise twist for different aeration needs where you can add and remove stages. Just remember that once there's grain in the bin, you can't change how many stages are in it. Please empty the bin before you change the number of stages. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2024 Curl Sass Mixed Doubles Provincials here in Swift Current, Saskatchewan. We have a wicked lineup uh, of C qualifiers here out on the ice looking to book their ticket into the playoffs. You got Sherry Just and Chad Garo versus the Clyder Clyder Brother Sister Foursome, Twosome, I should say, out of Saskatoon. And another brother and sister combination, Bukarak Bukarak versus Michelle the Cougar Inglot and Derek the Big Rig Schneider. So these are C final games and uh, they are what's going to get you into the action. With uh, and our featured game we have for you here will be Madison Clyder and Ryland Clyder. And you can see old man coach Dean Clyder there versus Sherry Just and her common law partner, Chad Garo. And believe me, folks, you are in for a treat tonight, not just because of the curling out on the ice, but because with me, I have the one, the only, Trevor Shooter Bot Bothrell on the call with me. I'd like to welcome Shooter uh, to the commentating with me here tonight. How you doing, Chris? <laughs> just barely surviving, my man. So you've been doing a bunch of, you've been doing a few games at the Mixed Doubles Provincials here this week. How's the event been? You know what? It's uh, it's been going over really well. Um, it's been some excellent curling. Um, you know, we had the A qualifiers and uh, now the B qualifiers qualified, and this is the last of the Mohicans trying to get into the playoffs. Uh, it's been really successful event so far, and uh, we're excited to get into the playoff rounds here later on this evening. I think we should be in for a good one because I noticed in the round robin the the just grow to some beat the Clyder to some uh, by a score of nine to ten so or ten to nine sorry so that uh, we're bound for a close game you know what Trev it's uh it's been absolutely bizarre to see some of the scores out here in this mixed curling it's quite new for me to watch but there has been plenty of four enders several five enders and no word of a lie we had a six ender this weekend six ender would be the equivalent to scoring an eight ender in the foursome play and what was neat about that was uh, old Stephen Lacelong and Nancy Martin, they were down five points to the Duke of Bore, Dustin Keltoff, and they took a six-ender. Absolutely blew my mind. So lots of rocks, lots of high scoring, and uh, we're in for a treat. Well, welcome to anybody that may be viewing on any of the platforms out there, which includes Curl Sass, Curling Zone, and the Swift Current YouTube feed. Did, did I miss any feed, Chris? No, you nailed that. And uh, it's been quite nice that all these different platforms um, are pushing the games out on their YouTube channels and on their social media channels. So uh, it's just great that they're trying to grow the game of curling and get it it's a, as much exposure as they can. I should know that the Just Garo Tusum are from Prince Albert and the uh, brother sister Tusum of Clyder is, hails from the Nutana in Saskatoon. Taking a look at our game now, like most of our viewers already know, every game starts with two rocks already in play. A halfway center guard and one at the back of the button. And what's neat about that is it immediately 
generates several rocks in play. Uh, and you can see with this game here, uh, right off the bat, there's a race for the top of that forefoot. And we're soon to have uh, five rocks in the forefoot. I knew you, I knew you, you yourself just have had some prepared experience, but how come you've never dabbled into the mix, the doubles? That is a great question. As a matter of fact, I did dabble in one event when Swift Current hosted a mixed doubles bonds field. And to be totally honest with you, it wasn't my thing. It was just too fast, too many rocks, too much going on. You could be lying three or four and absolutely just be foobard. It was just too much for my little pea brain to handle. So I stay clear of this mixed doubles curling and leave it to the professionals here. comes Chad Leroux here. I think he's throwing a little tap. Oh, well, he's inside and he's going to rack. I think he was trying to get by that for sure, but uh, not a lot of good things happen when you're a foot tight of the broom. That's for sure. I found it interesting that the uh, Madison Clutter and Rylan Clutter both went to the provincial finals of men's and ladies play uh, this year and I I don't know the last time a brother sister tandem both have went to the provincial final in the same year but I guess we don't have the research budget to figure that out you know the old curling stadium uh, commentator budget they have for you and I Trev, she's quite low so if it's not up top in our chiclet pea brains uh, that's about the only the only info we can pass along to our viewers speaking of which the Curling Zone feed has the chat open. So if you're tuned in on the Curling Zone feed, please subscribe by giving your email and say hi and let us know where you're tuning in and watching from. So it's like uh, Sherry and Chad have some work to do. The uh, Kledders have the forefoot surrounded. Yeah, so Hammer all week long has been determined by uh, not one, but two draws to the button. So both the male and the female play a draw to the button and they use a combination of their combined total distance from the pin. And uh, the, the last stone advantage was won by the Clyder team, giving them hammer here in the first end. And sitting pretty, anytime you're lying four with the brick, that's a good situation to be in. Does it time here for Chad to throw some parking lot weight to get some of these, get rid of some of these cherries? Parking lot weight, otherwise known as Trevor Bothwell's draw weight. <laughs> and it would appear that's what he is doing, and he's going to get the double. You know, I think he would have loved to have seen at least three reds go out of the rings, but not a bad result the way that stands. He will have a crack at a double on his next one to hopefully limit the damage to just a deuce this end. So Chris, where does uh, Ryland put this rock here to maximize the return on this end? Good question. So, I mean, the Clyders definitely are wanting to score three here, but I think that's almost impossible because no matter where you go, there's doubles galore. So you're never not going to leave rocks in a position where they can't make a double. So I think you focus on scoring a deuce this end by making a hit and rolling way to the wings. It should almost as much as guarantee you your deuce. Ryland popped up and was on this pillar to post right out of his hand looking to hit and stick around out the weeds.
Well, looks like Shuri has a fairly easy double here to kind of save face this end. You know what? Ends can turn so quickly. We are two shots away from the red team line four with hammer. And two shots later, we're in for yellow, possibly line three and forcing the single. So big momentum swings and changes all within one shot. And what's do you your, think thought, we, what's your you thoughts think, on this one? Do you think she makes this or misses it? Well, let's find out. Oh, that's no fun. Nothing yet from Chad on the sweep. Oh, Porch is going to jam, so that's going to give a chance for a draw for two. Yeah, that one needs to curl up a little bit. So, uh, like I said, big shifts and swings in this mixed doubles curling. Much different than the four-person play. And uh, Madison's just going to need a piece of that forefoot to score two here. And are those big swings, do you think, Chris, the reason that mixed doubles has really taken off, exploded in popularity? I honestly think that was the whole purpose of this game. They were looking for shorter games, faster games, with more rocks in play, and that's exactly what they've accomplished with this mixed doubles curling. Very exciting to watch. Ryland's leaning hard on this broom. He needs a uh, relatively full eight foot here for a deuce. And they come up a little short, so just a one for Team Collector in the first end. Wow, that was about four uh, momentum shifts in the last four shots. Wowzers. We'll be right back with some action right after this short commercial break. Hi there, Jim Hale for S3 Air Systems. Today we're going to talk about their new product, UFO Aeration. Here you can see the completed durable powder coated steel frame construction and the large mega louvered design that allows four times more airflow than traditional steel louvered designs. Here I'm just bolting the uh, stage halves together. You can see how the components lock together with just a counterclockwise twist for different aeration needs where you can add and remove stages. Just remember that once there's grain in the bin, you can't change how many stages are in it. Please empty the bin before you change the number of stages. Ladies and gentlemen, or whatever gender you go by, welcome back to the Swift Current Curling Club and the 2024 Provincial Mixed Doubles Curling. Our featured matchup here is Sherry Just and Chad Grove versus the Madison Clyder and Ryland Clyder tandem. First end, the Red Hat Hammer, they got forced to one. And as every end starts off, every rock diving into the forefoot and we got plenty of rocks in play. I should mention, Chris, we were also taking a look at the other C qualifier that's going on, on the ice at the same time at the Swift Current Curling Club, and it's Team Bukarak Bukarak versus uh, Cougar Inglot and uh, Derek Schneider, and they Inglot Schneider two some got two in the first half. That will be one heck of a C final as well. I know the Coug Inglot and uh, Derek the Big Rig Schneider have been playing some excellent curling this weekend so far. So uh, they'll be, you know, they want to win this one to get into the playoffs. How do you account for uh, Inglot's uh, longevity in, in curling, I'll say? Well, longevity is one way to put it, but let's call a spade a spade. Michelle has been one of Saskatchewan's top curlers for three, four, heck, even five decades now. 
just one heck of a curler. But, uh, you know, Saskatchewan has several top curlers that are getting up to the geriatric uh, rankings now. I just heard Sherry Anderson and her team got inducted to the to the Curling Hall of Fame. You know anything about that? Yeah, well, yes, congrats to Sherry, who will be inducted at the uh, Briar just down the road from Swift Current there in uh, Regina in her foursome. I, I did have a chance to play against that team in an exhibition game at the beginning of last season. And, of course, we were a team of 30 and 4-year-olds, and they cleaned our clocks, which maybe isn't hard to do, but it was fun to to curl against the legend like, as, uh, like Sherry. That's for sure. You know, Saskatchewan has produced a pile of good curlers over the years. And also of note, uh, mixed doubles curlers herself, uh, Jennifer Jones. In a season, speaking of season curlers, she's uh, playing her last Scotties just down the road from Swift Current in Calgary as well. So, that lots, is of, true. Uh, lots of season curlers making news this week. You're right. I heard the Beast Mode had recently announced that uh, she was going to hang them up after this, Scotty. So, but she's still going to participate in this in the mixed doubles. Uh, whose partner is she still with? Uh, one fella there. Yes, yes. Who who is he again? Uh, his name slips to my mind. I... Slips me every time as well, too. But. Uh... I'm sure we'll think of it here shortly. Let all our viewers know on Curling Zone, the live chat feature is turned on. So chime in, say hello, ask us any question you'd like to know. Trevor and I here, we have all the answers, or at least we think we do anyways. Would like to give a big shout out to a young fella named Clint Walker. He is tuning in from South Carolina. He probably has nothing to better to do down there than to turn in and watch uh, some curling at his home club here in Swift Current. So uh, big shout out, hello to Clint, the Cricket Walker. Producer James is just wanted to remind us that it was in fact Brett Lang, who is uh, it was Jennifer Joe's husband. Well, you know, how could you? How could we forget it? You know, you are right. How would I forget that? He definitely has the features uh, that a guy should be able to remember. But if you're out there and you hear us on the commentator, Brett, uh, give a shout out to Swift Kern and Saskatoon here at the Provincial Mixed Doubles. How much, how, how much more difficult is mixed doubles in terms of, you know, when you see the curlers throwing and getting up to sweep, like that takes a lot of energy, doesn't it? You know what, it takes energy, it takes athleticism. Um, something we take, both don't have. It takes skill, something you and I know nothing about, that is correct. And uh, um, you can certainly appreciate these athletes. You have to throw your own rocks, you have to sweep your own rocks. Often you have to throw at a phantom broom down at the other end so definitely a, a a different twist to the sport of curling well essentially when i play in, when i play in form curling with four guys you know when I, when i throw the broom essentially the the broom at the other end is phantom too so did you just assume you're a your teammates genders <laughs> no I was referring to the fact that a, maybe a, a bad curl I gotcha yeah. what kind of mess are we into here in this second end I know Sherry Just and Chad Drew have the hammer here and they're probably looking to score a couple here if they can plenty of rocks in play here we've got the uh, four foot wide open there it's uh, everything's behind the t-line Little hit and roll. I want to say team players hit the two, but the uh, just Garo team have the uh, button wide open. It looks like they're looking at slashing that red over the top of the red on the back button. 
And uh, I think they're thinking they can get all three rocks to move. I'm, uh, what do you think of that move? Because, you know, some people might say you could just draw straight to the pin and, pin and, and freeze and they couldn't get the yellow rock out. Well, now, I think that's the play, my friend, but uh, that's neither here nor there. But you're right. The intern with back line, tap back, seems to be the play to me. Dean Clyder in the background there, old crickets. He's watching intently. And you can see Pogo, the head official. The only official we have left remaining uh, in this event. Producer James correctly pointed out that if there's nobody holding the broom at the other end for mixed doubles, you can't miss the broom. You know what? I never even thought about that. That's correct. But it leads me to the question, do you ever really hit the broom? No. But as it turns out, it looks like they, they took our advice and, in fact, did a little freeze tap. So, You know, it's... Uh, these curlers would be wise to uh, to listen to me and my advice with curling strategy because I have yet to miss a shot from behind the glass or while I'm doing commentary. I just seem to make them all. Mm -hmm. Your armchair curler skills are, are uh, top to Now you mentioned Coach Dean behind the glass. Can they actually call timeouts in mixed doubles? For sure, yeah. There's a few teams that brought coaches down to this provincial, and each team is allowed two timeouts of one minute and 30 seconds in duration. So we have seen many timeouts called, and uh, Coach Dean Pleider is able to come out onto the ice and chat with his team during timeouts. So Madison Clyder looking for the intern draw freeze in hopes to force the just Garo combo to a single here in the second end. That looks like they came up short. Uh, are they just going for a force here? You know, whether it was the freeze or coming up short, the plan was to block off that side. So I think they're happy with that result. Question I have is, is this ice and swift current good enough to play the out turn draw, tear the guard, and get right to your yellow one? Is there enough curl? Looking at the camera we see now, yeah, it looks like uh, looks like we'd have to do a lot of curling in a hurry to get through that port. No, we're pretty blessed here in swift current. We have championship ice all season long. Head ice technician Jason Broughton. Been making ice for, well, speaking of Sherry, uh, or speaking of Sherry Anderson and Michelle the Coog Inglot, uh, my head ice technician here, uh, he was making ice back when dinosaurs still roam. Mm. But he, he has perfected his craft and uh, he gets us a great playing surface for all the events we host here in Swift Current. Well, here comes Sherry's uh, attempt here. Well, you're much nicer than I by using the word attempt because it wasn't much of an attempt. She floated it a little bit wide and it just never wanted to come back. We have us one point for Justin Garreau and we're all tied up at one through two ends of play. I'm going to head upstairs for uh, original 16 folks and we'll be back right after this short commercial break. You silence the doubters. You get the best tools. You work with the right people. You look to the future and bust through. Well, what do y'all think? Too blue? Not blue enough? Try this. Makes your eyes pop. This could be our best yield yet. And didn't we get this seed at a great financing rate? Yeah, we did. Iced tea? Great idea. Let's talk more about next year. I got some thoughts. And I've got some numbers. Nutrient Financial, financing that's in the field with you. Handcrafted in Canada, Hardline's Ice Pad has revolutionized curling for over a decade. 
Engineered with top-tier precision and durability, it is backed by an unmatched 10-year warranty. Designed for curlers at all levels to sweep effortlessly with maximum efficiency, it is trusted by the world's best curlers, including Olympic and world champions. It is quite simply the best broom in the game. Hardline, join the revolution. Why don't you uh, ask me, say, uh, I, I said, said something about Jan being the only official, ask me where the other one went. Like, okay, so we are back for the Wait, third. James, don't mute us here. Yes, welcome back, folks. We're in the third end here. It's tied 1-1. And as always, the center guard goes up. The rock in the back of the button gets placed. And it's a race to that forefoot. Looks like yellow came up a little light with an outturn attempt. Madison through the intern and has red line two here. Just updating the other seat qualifier in the second end team. Bukarak Bukarak got uh, three in the second end, so it's now... 3-2 for uh, Team Bukarak over Team Englach Knightley. Chad, with doubles. nice... Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, in the mixed doubles play, uh, there's a little thing called the power play. Maybe you want to talk about that. Pup, 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 power play. Each nothing, to do with, nothing to do it, with hockey. Exactly. Each team is allowed one opportunity to place the guards off to the side, like a corner guard, and bring the plate to the side. And that's a power play. And the goal is to try to bring all the plate to the side, as if in traditional curling, you had the hammer and you were trying to play to the wings. So each team has the opportunity to use that once a game. And it's quite often used in the latter parts of the game, and five, six, seven, eight kind of deal. And I'm and sure we, we will see that before this game is through. And what's the school of thought to use in the later half of the game? Why, why can't you use it in the uh, earlier ends? You certainly could use it in the earlier ends. but And it could be a strategic thing to do. But it is an advantage to use that power play and get things off to the wings. So they try to save it and strategically use it at the best time possible in the game. So although you can use it in any end, they often wait to strategically use it towards the end of the game once they have a little better idea of what the score is and uh, what, the, what the game situation is looking like. Riley Clyder going absolute pillar to post on this one. He sneaks by the guard. Kind of chaps both of them lemons back a little bit and it leaves the Reds lying two with hammer here in the third. Hopefully Ryland's doing okay with all that sweeping, like he's a skip. So uh, you know, we know we know the skips in men's play don't typically sweep that much. So hopefully he's uh, not getting too tired being on the brink. You know, Ryland is one heck of an athlete. Four, five-time junior provincial champion. I think he played for the Hilltops in, uh, in football as a quarterback. Um, one heck of a curler and young young man. So. He's about as fit as they can, and he should have no problems out there sweeping all these rocks. Well, congrats to Rylan, anyway, who made the provincial men's final at the Nutana this year. and uh, Came up a little bit short, but uh, against the juggernaut, uh, Mike McEwen, who is coached by uh, Brett Lang. So uh, we got Mike McEwen and Brett Lang representing Saskatchewan. Uh, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Mike McEwen, Magic Mike, Brett Dumbo Lang. Who would have ever have thought? I tell you what, they were without question the cream of the crop at the provincial this year at the Saskatoon Nutana Curling Club. 
Um, but second to that, there was a team of geriatrics that uh, Riley Clyder beat in the semifinal. Some would use the word beat. Some would use the word got lucky and fluked it out. But uh, regardless of how you classify it, Rylan Clyder just dummied them geriatrics to the semi and made it all the way to the final against Magic Mike. Mm -hmm. And as we mentioned off the top of the cast, too, that uh, Madison was in the uh, provincial ladies' final and, uh, of course, just came up short and Nancy, she, her skip, and that was Nancy Martin. You know, one's got to feel bad for Nancy Martin. She's been at this game. I don't want to put her up there with Sherry Anderson and Michelle Inklot, but uh, she's been playing it for a lot of years, and she's lost a couple heartbreak provincial finals this year and last year as well. So she's been so close uh, in the ladies' side of things. Uh, she's definitely one of Saskatchewan's top female curlers, has been for uh, decades as well at her ripe old age. Speaking of, just, speaking of Nancy mean, Martin, she might have a little bit different lineup next year. I do know Madison Clyder, I believe, got accepted into some schooling down in Arizona. So Madison might be on her way to Arizona. And uh, their other lead on the team, Kristen Karwacki, who knows what the events will unfold at the Scotties, but uh, there's a chance she may be playing full-time with Anderson next year. Who knows? Well, the, well, look at look at there, Chris, with a little uh, curling free agent scoop. There. <laughs> Chad Grow here with the intern draw, looking for a little chop and lie, and a chop and lie he does. The lie two, dead buried, dead buried behind that center guard, without the hammer here in the third. So as they run, it's, uh Thinking about an in-off double takeout here. Well, Ryland, the rocket fighter looking at the in-off. That would be one heck of a shot. You could roll right in and stay frozen on that yellow. We noticed the time clocks there, Chris. Uh, has any mixed doubles teams been short on time this week, or uh, is the time not, the time not a factor in these doubles? I wouldn't say that across the board. I would say majority of the game, there's all but mere seconds left on the time clocks uh, to the point where teams are having to use their time outs uh, just to bank some time. So it's neat that they put them on the time clocks. It keeps the speed of play rocking and rolling, keeps the excitement happening. Oh, that looked dirty little out turn on the Rocket Island Fighter brings back some nightmares from a couple weeks ago for me. I bet it does. Would it, have so killed him, would it have killed him to hit a rock on the nose when he's trying to hit a half rock like that a couple, two weeks ago? Too crying out loud. Crying out loud. So what does uh, Team Just Girl need to do here to uh, set up a steal? Looks like they may have a good chance at a steal here. Where is the uh, best place to put this rock? You know what? I think you got to make a play on that red that Ryland just threw. Ryland and Team Clyder have uh, have an in off that red all day long, so that red's kind of hurting you. If it was me, I would be hitting and rolling to lie three. I don't see. I didn't see what their final call was going to be. I didn't either, but I guess we'll find out together. That is definitely not hit weight. She possibly could just be drawing another one in there and ignoring that red rock that Rylan threw. Oh, she is throwing a little tap there. She, she did get rid of that red, as you mentioned. I think that was the smart play. You know, you could have rolled right on top of your own rock and absolutely put the heat on this Clyder Clyder tandem. But she hits it on the nose. Still a good situation. Like two here without hammer at the third end. 
Madison's going to be a little bit comfortable here because she moves that back red that could uh, bring a couple extra yellows into play. You know, it's uh, not uncommon to three C, threes, fours. We've seen our share of fives out here as well. So anything can happen in this sport of curling. I mean, uh, I know a young guy, just a rotten Ukrainian. His name's the Uke. He's won himself a green jacket uh, in curling. So anything can happen in this sport, folks. Can it ever. Are you, I hear you're going to be participating in the provincial uh, fire curling this year. Sastel Be Kind Online wants to stop cyberbullying. Want in on the action? We award up to $1,000 for youth initiatives that help spread kindness and prevent bullying. What great idea do you have to help stop bullying? Sastel can help. Go to BeKindOnline.com and apply for a grant today. Together, we can make a difference. At PharmaSave, we see you and we care for prescriptions for common conditions, expert health advice, or support for life's little mishaps. Come talk to your PharmaSave pharmacist. Live well with PharmaSave. This right here is time well spent. Why not pour yourself a smooth Saskatchewan made original 16? Warm up to the opportunity to seize the day. I can hear you. I don't know what the hell happened there. Anyways, we're back, I believe. Sorry, folks, had a little bit of technical difficulties there. But that uh, that's technology for you. Sometimes it runs smooth, sometimes it doesn't. Not as smooth as this original 16 has been going down the old hatch. I missed what happened in the last end there, uh, shooter bot. What, how did that end up wrapping up in the third end? Well, I was trying to fix my microphone, but it looks like we got a uh, score of one from, uh, steal of one from Jessica Rowe, and it's now two to one going to the fourth end. Madison has been so good with these draws. Uh, she's been top of the house every single time with her draws, so it really helps to control the top of that forefoot when when your lead or the first rock of the game being thrown is getting put in a nice position. The big rig Derek Schneider you can see on the sheet just beside us. They, I believe, are in a heater with the Bukaraka, Bukarak combo. Ladies and gentlemen, I got no sniff where you're uh, watching from, but uh, if you're on the Curling Zone feed, the chat is open. Please ask us questions. Let us know where you're tuning in and watching from. Yellow comes up light again. 
Getting to be quite the conglomeration of rocks in the top of the rings there. Do you need a thesaurus for that word, shooter bot, or you still got me? You still with me? Yes, please. Yeah, conglomerate. That was a big word. You know, there's the odd big word I know. Uh, as most know, I am a firefighter. And once I knew I wanted to be a firefighter, I dropped out of school in grade three. But there is still the odd word that I can use to impress. You mentioned firefighting, and you mentioned the Andrew, the Ook Kowalski. Uh, I hear you guys are going to be going to the Provincial Firefighter Curling Championships. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, we are off to the bustling town of Mooseman, Saskatchewan, to represent the green and white at the Firefighter National Curling Championships. And I'm curling with Greg, Bootsoff, Tarasaw, Carmen Cook, the Rotten Uke, Andrew Kowalski. And that event is March 15th to the 24th, so we're excited to get that underway. Kudos to Mooseman for hosting a national curling event. I still haven't Googled where Mooseman even is. I think it's just north of Parrot River, maybe? I think you may be a little bit off of that, but I don't know myself. Just updating the other C qualifier, I see that Team Bukarak. Bukarak got to steal a two in the third end, so they have opened up a 5-2 lead against the Kuh Ginglot and Derek Schneider. Yeah, you knew that was going to be a good game over on that sheet. Uh, the Kug there, she can battle. She's been doing this for a long time. They'll be able to, uh, pardon the pun here, but claw their way back into that game. <laughs> That's an all Regina matchup there, I guess, on the uh, other C qualifier. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see some Bronco fans filing into the back there. The Swift Current Broncos have a big game tonight, home game. Kicks off at 7 o'clock local time. Get down to the Innovation Flex. Watch some high-end curling or cheer on your Broncos. Either way, we're partying tonight. The original 16 lounge here at the Curling Club is open. Feel free to stop on by and buy me a beer. I digress, though, Chris. Uh, I'm a Saskatoon Blades fan, and I, I'm thinking they're going to go all the way to the Memorial Cup this year. You know, the Blades were in town here a couple, two, three, four days ago, and uh, they, it was tied 2-2 with uh, mere minutes left in the third, and Saskatoon got a fluke goal, much like Ryland Glider had some fluke shots against me in the provincial semifinal. Jesus, Murphy! <laughs> Anyways, I'll digress. It was a great game, and I know the Broncos have... Uh, really bolstered their lineup for a playoff push. And I tell you what, there might have to be a small wager if uh, if the Blades and the Broncos collide in the playoffs here. I'll be happy to oblige. Coming back to the action here on, sheet, on our feature game. I think uh, Sherry and Chad are looking for a way into the forefoot here, aren't they? Well, I'm afraid you're going to need a stick of dynamite to find entry into that forefoot. Uh, she's a bit of a wall of china up front there. Uh, Red is lying, I think, just the one in the back forefoot. That's just fun to say, isn't it? It is. The one name there I like commentating, I've been battling a little bit of a cold here lately, hacking and coughing up, and it worked perfectly when I was announcing the Rachel Schlachter game. It actually played right into it. So you're, uh, you're, you could say you're coughing just like you did two weeks ago? As in coughing up. Oh, you coughed up. Lead? No, no, yeah, never. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, 
Howard Just. I'm not sure his relation to Sherry Just, but he is watching from Anola, Manitoba. Manitoba, as, or as I like to refer to, Manitoba. Only because of our banjo bowl ri rivalry we have with them Winnipeg Blue Bombers. We do have a, uh, a very uh, a nasty rivalry with Manitoba in that sense. Anywho, big shout out to Howard Just. Thank you for saying hi, tuning in and letting us know where you were from. Is it true, ShooterBot, that uh, Justin Trudeau had made a motion in the House of Commons to change the, the name of that province to, in fact, People Toba to be a little more uh, inclusive? I didn't hear that, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me. Well, Rodham was looking for a little in off to the forefoot here, but came up a little bit short. Easy had an opportunity to roll that one right to the cornhole and uh, and lie three here with the hammer here in the fourth. Ladies and gentlemen, my boy Howard just chimed in. We got South Carolina, Clint, the cricket walker. And Howard Just from Anola, Manitoba. Anyone else there tuned in watching? Let me know where you're from. You might get razzed or ripped a little bit. But that's okay. That's okay. Just updating, Sherry, quickly, just updating quickly, the other seat qualifier, Team Bukharak got a, another steal of two, so they are running away with the other seat qualifier. It is now 7-2 to two for Team Bukharak over Team Ingla Schneider. Sounds like that's turning into an absolute pumping. We have a timeout called on our sheet. Sherry just went down to the hack and just wasn't quite happy with uh, with what they had decided to play, so they came back down here with their timeout to take another peek. Um, without Hammer here, what would be your suggestion? I believe the red is only lying one still at this point. And I don't think you can see the red that Sherry's pointing to right now. I don't think you can see enough of it to get a roll off of it, can you? You know, you'd have to be fairly cute to that guard, and if you ever tickled that guard, you possibly risk pushing it into the rings closer to the forefoot. So, geez, I don't know what I would play here. It might be the only shot out there is a little backliner chop and roll in. Bukaraka, Bukaraka. It is a fun name to say. With current Bronco fans filing in, checking out the curling action. Or they head across the way to cheer on our Broncos. The Swift Current Broncos rink is attached to the Swift Current Current Club, is it not? Certainly at the Innovation Iplex here in Swift Current, we have uh, everything under one roof. Auditoriums, curling clubs, hockey rinks. You name it, we got it. Come on down. Remember to bring the commentator an original 16 if you can. I'm running a little low, throat's getting a little dry. Looks like Just has made their decision on what they want to play, and I believe they're going with that little uh, soft weight in off here. Nothing on the broom yet from Chad. Now, now he goes. Oh, just a little tick there. I think uh, she just wicked that top, that red, didn't she? She did. Clayton wicked that top rock. She had an absolute pistol coming if she would have got that by. So it looks like it's a light tap back for two for the Clyder Clyder brother sister combo. Brother, sister, and dad coach. I'm not sure me and my siblings would last. 
three ends out on the ice together, especially <laughs> not with that that coaching. Most people know that rotten uke. Uh, he's quite popular on social media. I believe he stays fairly active on there. I hear he leans a little way politically there. He leans all right, and he's not afraid to let the fine folks know that he leans the right way. So here we go, Massive coming in here Looking for a tap for two. Doesn't have to hit it that hard, and she makes it. What a pistol. Little tap back for two here in the fourth end. It's two points for the Clyder team to take a three to two lead after four ends of play. Folks, we have a short break here to top up your uh, beverages. Please tune into our commercials. I will update you on the other game when we come back. You're watching Curling Stadium, Swift Current, Saskatchewan. New at Asham. Take your game to the next level with the Gushu Ultra Light. Equipped with our world-famous rotator disc system that attaches by Velcro, quickly and easily upgrade and replace your sliding platform. Check out our website at asham.com. Here is what cowboy dreams are made of. Strong, calloused hands, open skies the smell of leather and horses and sagebrush. It's getting off the road to explore, a chance to have a real Western experience. Hats, boots, and hard work. It's finding peace while connecting to the land and with those on the same adventure. Pull up a seat or get in the saddle in our living skies and badlands. Saskatchewan. This isn't just a beer. This is a double-aged, never backed down full of heart Western beer. This is a beer brewed by 16 guys who risked it all. Original 16. Underdogs since 1989. Swift Current is great because everybody that we do business with, we know on some sort of personal level. What I love about Swift Current is the vibrant arts and culture community. I really like Swift Current. We are not a big city, but the size of the city is really good and we have everything. Swift Current is a great sports town. Great teams and great fans. People say, you know, good morning, hi, how are you, even though we don't know each other. Yeah, uh, halfway through the fourth end break here at the 2024 Girls Sask Mixed Doubles Provincials here in Swift Current. Quick update for you in the other game. You got the brother sister Bukarat uh, Bukarat combo with a 7 2 shellacking over Michelle the Cougar Inglot and Derek the Big Rig Schneider. You know, I don't know if it's right of me, but I might confess I've kind of had a little bit of a crush on Michelle Inglot. Ever since I was knee high to a grasshopper, I tell ya. And in our featured game, the Clyder Clyder brother sister combo is up three to two over Howard Just, who is Sherry's dad. Uh, Sherry Just and uh, Chad Garot. So after a couple more short brief messages, we're gonna get you right back to the action. Saskatchewan, you know Sastel because we are everywhere because being everywhere keeps us connected to you. With Sastel sponsorships, we get to be part of your community. We're here with you and we're here for you. It's easy to get started. All you need to do is apply. Sastel cares, always has, always will. To apply for sponsorship, visit sastel.com slash sponsorships.
we feed the world with nutrient and a large portion of what our job is is to get fertilizer out with the carriers so they can get directed to the farms or to the different retail locations. We know that if we don't have the answer to something, we're not afraid to reach out because we have support from everyone. We've got a really good team behind us. Viterra's world-leading, fully integrated agriculture network connects producers and consumers to supply sustainable, traceable, and quality-controlled agriculture products. We'd like to recognize Viterra's ongoing support to Curling in Saskatchewan through funding youth and school clinics, as well as other programs, and of course, the Women's Provincial Championship. Thank you, Viterra, for everything you've done and continue to do for Curling in Saskatchewan. New at Asham the Helix Flyknit, and Express Ultralight, featuring our rotator disc system that attaches by Velcro. Quickly and easily upgrade and replace your sliding platform. Check out our website at asham.com. Hi, I'm Shannon and we're here at the brand new Bike Tricks Electric Bike Showroom in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. It's grand opening, so we're gonna head inside and talk to some Bike Tricks customers. Let's go. I chose Bike Tricks because of the reputation. I know people who have Bike Tricks bikes and I know that it's a local company, which I like to support local. They're great bikes. Come down and see the team here. They're really a great team of people. Check out the bikes, go for a ride. We are back here in Swift Current after what felt like the longest commercial breaks of all time. Featured game here, it is Clyders up three to two without the hammer here, playing the fifth end. My name's Chris Heikert. I'm joined here with Trevor Shooterbot. Never really made a nice shot in his life. Bothro, welcome, Shooter. Thank well, you. thank you, Chris. Yes. Good to be with you watching this tight Mick Doubles uh, game. I guess we should take this time to make a uh, correction. Uh, we noticed that uh, Howard just shares that is tuning in from Manitoba and he's says he, he's in fact a Rough Rider fan. So I knew I liked uh, Howard. You know what? That's, uh, that's quite interesting. He was very quick to make sure we got that correction on air to let the folks know that he is in fact a rider fan. Um, Cause yeah, I'm not sure if you'd want to be caught dead in public uh, as a Winnipeg bomber fan. I mean, them, uh, them fans, I tell you down in Mana toilet, who could cheer for such a team? I couldn't, you know what? I couldn't either, but uh, shout out to all those bomber fans. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers have been an absolute dynasty these last few years, and they've been absolutely waxing us Saskatchewan Rough Rider fans. So kudos, shout out to all the Bomber fans out there, and uh, and well done on actually being willing to to say in public you are a Bomber fan. Better man than I. Well, we got Corey Mace, head coach, coming in this year, so we've uh, we've been maced in Ryderville. So we'll see. See how that happens. Well, speaking of being maced, yellow is lying. Starting to get a conglomeration of rocks here into the forefoot. I know uh, Cherry Just and Chad, they are going to be looking to score a few points this end if possible. Is it is Sean Bunich to go check if Dean Flyder is still awake back there? I haven't seen him move for for a while now. Yeah, he's looking quite comfortable. The only thing comfortable was Ryland Flyder's intern. And would you know, he still had some more fluky shots in his bag. He didn't use them up all against me in the Saskatchewan men's provincial final in Saskatoon two weeks ago. That was one heck of a shot. This one, I think he even called. The ones in Saskatoon, he flooped off. But I'll digress. I'm not that bitter still, I promise you. Well, that's good to hear. Well, yeah, that, that was a uh, parking lot weight for sure, and it resembled a lot of my draws. So <laughs> I, I, I knew it when I see it. Just giving Ryland a 
tough time. He's one heck of a shooter, and uh, him and his team have a bright future here in Saskatchewan. Uh, I'd almost be willing to bet you a cookie. You'll see them in the green and white uh, one of these days here. Chad with an outturn draw here, looking to tap the red one into the back of the house. And yellow lies shot rock with hammer here in the fifth. And I was almost certain I saw rocks on the other sheet getting pushed back to the home end. Any update for us there, Shooter? I was just checking the score, and the Bukarek, Bukarek have won the match. They're in the fifth end. They are winning at 9-2 to two over the Cougar Inglot and Derek Schneider. So Team Bukarek, Bukarek have earned themselves a spot in the playoffs. Quarterfinals, I think they line up uh, against possibly the Duke aboard. And that will be the game we are showing this evening. We will have Christy Gamble and Dustin Keltoff will be our featured game this evening, 8 p.m., quarterfinal action. Believe me, I've had enough original 16s now. You're not going to want to miss this one, folks. I'll be bringing out all the goods, all the stories, and there'll be no hold barred. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it as much as those two on the left on your screen there. Looking forward to their iPads. They look like they're sure enjoying this game. <laughs> they're no different than any other kid out there. Hey, if you've got a screen, they're staring at it. Once again, looking for that hit and roll behind the center guard, and the rock just not quite curling enough for them there. Just wanted to say hi to Ryan Dice. I guess he's tuning in from Lloyd Minster. So uh, hi to Ryan Dice, who's the uh, director of the Saskatchewan Men's Curling Tour. I recently heard that they were possibly going to go with uh, a rebranding and call it the uh, Brown Paper Bag Tour. Have you heard any truth to that? I've heard rumors about that, but uh, we, we'll need Ryan to uh, confirm. You know that all spouted from uh, several of the friends my man Ryan Dice puts on, where uh, the teams, in fact, are curling all over this great province, playing for each other's brown bag lunch paper money. He's just beer change and beer feed. Brown paper bag tour, but a big shout out to Ryan Dice for all the work he does on the Saskatchewan men's curling tour. Now this is the least busiest house we've seen today, uh, Chris. Uh, we just got two rocks in the 12 foot. What is Sherry, looks like she's gonna draw around the guard. Yeah, they have the hammer here, and the way those two rocks, red rocks, are sitting, it's uh, blanks are no good. Blanks mean you flip the hammer, so you may as well go balls to the wall and uh, ignore that one yellow one up there, that red one up there, and just wrap one around the corner, around the center guard. And then, if your if your commentator knew any better, you would know that it was just a straight draw for one because all the rocks. I'm being thrown. What's your thoughts on that before we go to the break? Yes, well, I didn't uh, know that that was the last rock, but it is. But so we get a tie ball game. Tie ball game going into the breaks, folks. Quick chance, grab an 016, and we'll be back here shortly. You silence the doubters, you get the best tools, you work with the right people, you look to the future and bust through. There's no doubt running any kind of farm comes with day-to-day -day challenges. We built a new facility two years ago. Technology has totally revolutionized dairy farming. Fast Milk gives us the tools to provide high quality standard of milk, making sure our equipment is all well taken care of, make sure that those animals are housed and cared for appropriately. They continue to push us with their standards to make sure that it just gets better and better. 
New at Asham. Whether you're in the hack or kicking back, live it in style in the new Throw and Stones line exclusively by Asham. Curling is more than a sport, it's a lifestyle. Check out our website at asham.com. When you buy a lottery ticket in Saskatchewan, your money really goes a long way. More than 12,000 sport, culture, and recreation groups receive funding from Sask Lotteries every year. Everyone wins. Christ, we're sixth end. We're right back into the action, folks. We have the 2024 Curl Sask Provincial Mixed Doubles Playdowns here at Swift Current, Saskatchewan. Our featured game here has the brother-sister combo, Madison Pleiter and Ryland Pleiter, versus the common-law couple, Sherry Just and Chad Grove. These teams here battling it out for a playoff spot, but ultimately looking for their birth in the March 17th to 22nd National Mixed Doubles Curling Championships, will be, which will be taking place at the Aitken University Center uh, at the University of New Brunswick and at the Capital Winter Club in Fredericton, New Brunswick. So they're battling it out for a berth. Put the green and white on. Represent this by province. A province much greater than that one right beside us, also known as Manitoba. Taking a look at the uh, playoffs here in the mixed doubles provincials, uh, the team of Barber Height uh, await the winner of this match, and then uh, which we will feature the Gamble Kaltoff Bukarak Bukarak quarterfinal later tonight at 8 p.m. And also, there's two teams that are waiting for opponents in the semifinals, and that's Team Martin and Team Laycock, who you know very well, Chris. And then uh, the Springer Springer Tucson, who I saw we're watching the action here at the Swift Current Curl Club in the background. My goodness, I thought I was the only one that noticed uh, Jill Springer back there. I I had a thing for Michelle Inglot for decades, but uh, I think I'm moving on. I tell you, that's one lovely lady, that Jill Springer, and one heck of a curler. I'm not sure how the big unit, Garrett Springer, landed that one, but well done for him in his, uh, in his foam lake. Good uh, for him. Yes, for sure. So don't go anywhere, folks. Looks like we are going to get one heck of a finish here uh, in this matchup. The live stream on Curling Zone has this chat opened up. So if you'd like to chat with uh, Shooter Bot, Trevor Bothrell, or myself, ask us any question you like. We got all the answers. We're willing to talk politics, brown paper bag tours, Dumbo, Ukrainians. We've got all the answers, folks. Log on, say hi, let us know where you're calling from. And I'm certain we'll go easy on you. Bukarak, Bukarak. Tiba Jessica Rohr are lying one in the foot, but one in the forefoot, but for not very long. What's he playing here? Just a nice soft draw? Like a little draw tap here, I think. Uh... Soft release. It looks like Riley the Rocket is going to have to go pillar to post on this one. Well, is he line three or line four? Well, my eyes aren't the best, uh, Chris, so I'm not the person to ask, but I'm going to go with three reds. You know what? We often need to bring the officials in when they're that close. Yeah, talk about the officials. Uh, uh, any good event needs officials. And uh, talk about the officials that are with you there in Swift Current this weekend. Kudos to them. You know what? You're right. Uh, these events... Uh, they don't go off without having the, the support of officials to help make sure they go off without a hitch. So a great big thank you to Jan Pogo. I'm not even going to try to fully pronounce her full last name. She's known as Pogo. And then the other head official here we had this weekend, M. Baber. So 
big shout out to the two of them and thank them for all the work they do for Girl Sask uh, in officiating this sport for us. Chad Groh with an intern draw here himself, looking to chap that one back. It's not a bad situation. That's going to be real tough to get that yellow one out unless Ryland Clyder has some of that lucky magic he used uh, against me back two weeks ago in the friggin' semifinal of the Provincials where he was just friggin' good luck. In okay, I'll digress. But you're not bitter, though. I'm over it. I'm over it. That will be a tough one to get out of there, that yellow one. It kind of controls the top of the rings. Looks like it is taking second shot, but uh, the question is, how do you get it out of there? Well, that's a good question. You hit and, and you roll a note. You know what? I did claim I had all the answers, so I will have to tell you the answer and it's exactly what Ryland's calling. She's half rock with just an absolute meat cutter and I think you can get to the back side of that yellow one and push it out the top just like he was showing us with his broom there. I think that fella in the background behind Chad watching the game behind the glass. No bad days. That's his favorite line. No bad days. I met him the one day and introduced myself and I said, how are you? And he said, 72 years? No, not one bad day. So you know what? Uh, no, you're right. I said, how long have you been married for? And he said, 41 years. And I said, well, what was the happiest year? He said, well, it was 42 years ago. <laughs> Hits that Ooh. yellow a little bit too thin. Does not touch the top one. It squeaks out the side. And it leaves yellow like shot rock here in the sixth end. Looks like this gives an opportunity for Sherry to set up a steal. Showing she throwing a little intern tap. You know what? If you tap that back a bit, I'm not sure how you ever get that out of there. Not a pile of time left for both these two teams with uh with still two two ends to play. I'm certain you're gonna see a few timeouts used, and I'm also certain you're gonna see some power plays used, probably even as soon as next end. Chad's on the brush, he needs to get this by to make this shot. And Sherry just racks off the guard and rolls in, opening the door for a big score for the Clyder Clyder tandem. Yes, yeah, so that's an unfortunate miss, isn't it? Because that gives uh, the inside of that yellow rock to the Clyder team. For sure, you can get to the inside, and you know, if you get half rock with uh, back line to hack weight, you're probably scoring a few. And they're getting their coach Dean to come out to talk it over you know what i'll throw dean a bone here he coaches uh ryland's fluky team in men's where they were fluky against me in the semi-final of the men's provincial tankard but he coaches them and dean has been an amazing coach for many years three four five junior provincial titles with ryland i know he's coached madison he coaches their mixed doubles team here dean is a wealth of knowledge he was one heck of a player when he used to curl and Father Time has just caught up with them. So those that can do and those that can't, 
they coach and that is what Dean has elected to do here with his uh, with his family one of the nicest guys in curling I see him all the time around in Saskatoon yeah I often get uh, get uh, painted with that handle that you just said too I find that hard to believe, but we'll, we'll, I digress. <laughs> Dean talking to his son there. They're talking about a few different things. Madison uh, taking a look to see if there's enough room to get by that guard and get to the inside. Do you maybe uh, play it safe here and try and pick it through the two red ones in the forefoot or try and get to play the shot and get to the inside? You know what? I don't like that call, although it is there for four that you said. It's also there if you hit it a whisker thick to give up one. If you get to the nose or anything on the inside, you're getting three for sure, maybe four, maybe five if you hit it just right. Dean Kleider has retreated to behind the glass. And I'm assuming before he goes back to his nap, he will keep his eyes open long. Just to see the result of this final shot here in this end. Madison Clyder with the intern tap back for a mid -ball. Oh, Got to go hard on this to make contact with the yellow. And like just a score of two for the red well hold your little ponies there let's take a better look at that i'm gonna say it was a force of one how confident and how many original 16s are you willing to wager i'm guessing we're not going to get to find out until after this short break, we'll be right back, folks. Grab a beer. We'll be here. I don't remember a time when curling wasn't a part of my life. When I wasn't putting in the sweat and hard work to be the best that I can be. Clocking in the time, the effort to practice day in, day out. Curling is more than just a game. It's a family, a community. And when it's time to play, I know I'll be ready. Hardline, supporting hundreds of our next generation athletes. At Viterra, we believe in the power of connection. Our world-leading agriculture network connects producers and consumers to supply top quality food ingredients each and every day. Our team takes great pride in working closely with farmers to help feed the world. It's something we've been doing for over 100 years. And as an industry leader, we're dedicated to playing a critical role in meeting the needs of a growing world. Because together, we're stronger and achieve more. All right, we are back here in Swift Current, Saskatchewan. And ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing our first pu -pu 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 power play. Power play. It appears that the Just team has elected to put the Rocks off to the wing, and they are going to try to accumulate a multiple score here in the seventh end. I'm a big uh, Edmonton Oler fan, Chris, and uh, I've been lamenting that their power play hasn't been that that good this year. But uh, we hope for a better power play here in the seventh end. No. There is a free guard zone rule here in this mixed doubles, and I believe it's four shots. The first four rocks cannot be hit. Uh, I believe. I'm not 100% up on the rules here. I tell you what, we'll find out right now because if they can be hit, you would see them hitting these yellows and doubling them out right now. Shout out to Clint Walker, who's watching from South Carolina. And I hear his nickname is Crickets. Uh, Chris, have you ever been to South Carolina? Never been to South Carolina. You know, I know the weather's a little bit warmer 
down there, that's for sure. But uh, yes, he certainly has the nickname of Crickets. Uh, somewhat hazard to guess it has something to do with his church mouse-like genitalia, but uh, I'll digress from there. Uh, Clint Walker, South Carolina, welcome to the feed and the show, and hopefully you're enjoying this curling matchup here in Swift Current. So the Clotter team hit that guard and moved it over to the corner, exposing those two lemons in the rings off to the side. And I think you're going to see them want to throw another guard up. The two are intently watching their iPads there on the left, not giving two hoots about what's going on on the ice right now. Shooter bot. Kids and screen time these days, am I right? That's exactly it. It appears Dean Clyder has uh, woken from his slumber nap those first five ends and and he's invested into this game here, coming into the latter half. Yeah. Are you surprised that uh, Sharon and Chad didn't throw a guard there? Quite surprised. Uh, you know, I wish they would mark the score because I believe whether it was one or whether it was two. Oh, speak of the devil. Bogo's coming out to save the day. And I think you said two red, did you not? I did, yeah. Well, I'll give you this one, but uh, sounds like you're about as lucky as Ryland Clyder was in the semifinal of the Saskatel Men's Provincial Tanker a couple, two, three weeks ago. Right. Crying out loud. Ryland with a beauty of a double and rolls out. Leaves yellow line shot rock up in the top. No. Pile of time left on the clocks for both these two teams with one timeout remaining each. My girl Teresa from Montana has tuned back in and I think Teresa was watching a little bit of the curling the other night when I was commentating. Now, I could be wrong, but there was one American asking about whether or not TSN would push their feed to the USA so that them fine folks down in the U of S could watch the Scotties. And I just learned that TSN is, in fact, opening it up so that our neighbors south of the border can watch the Scotties and the Briar. So that is exciting to continue to expose our sport to the sum 300 odd billion or million or whatever it is USA has nowadays. Shout out to our American friends. We uh, we were talking earlier, Chris, about the seasoned women crows. How about the seasoned political leaders there in the States? You know, it's always, always a good idea to bring up uh, politics when you are on a live feed talking to viewers from all over the world. Shout out to Joe Biden, and I believe Donald Trump will be running against him in this next upcoming election. Have you ever seen anything like it? They're, they're up there in age. That's what I'll say. We're running... Pl Playing that parking parking lot, wait two uh, ends in a, or two shots in a row, and uh, that leaves Sherry and Chad City one. They they have to get a deuce here, uh, Sherry and uh, Chad, don't they? You know what? One would think they would, but I tell you what, steals of two, three, four, even the Duke of Bor gave up six at one point uh, throughout this event. So anything can happen in this mixed doubles curling. Uh, she's a fight right to the finish. Speaking of being finished, Michelle the Cougar Inglot and Derek the Big Rig Schneider decided to pull the gloves off and shake hands and forfeit in their semifinal matchup to Bukarak, Bukarak, sorry, C qualifier matchup. So Bukaraks are into the playoffs and I believe they will play Christy Gamble and Dustin Keltoff. 
and we will be bringing that to you as the featured game at 8 p.m. Not going to want to miss that one, folks. Madison with the intern hit. Looks like they are okay with conceding. And giving up two here and have the hammer coming home. And with that hammer, I promised you at the start of the game, folks, you would see some pup, pup, pup power plays used. You seen one in the seventh end? And I'll bet you an original 16, you'll see one in the eighth end as well. Teresa, are you a curler down in Montana? And what city do you hail from? Been to a few down there, spent many a summers in Coeur d'Alene. Just a light dusting from old Chad Grove. Sherry gets up to dust her in. They hit the top of the forefoot, and that's all they need to score two here in the seventh end and tie this game up at five apiece. With one end remaining, I guarantee you folks, one end only remaining here in Swift Current in this C event matchup. We'll be right back after this short shotgunning of an original 16 beer. We asked Saskatchewan what they know about 5G. Uh, more speed, more innovation. It's going to make our lives a whole heck of a lot easier. This is what 5G looks like. Better, faster. Sounds like one more G. Sounds pretty good. I don't know what it means. All you really need to know is the future of 5G is here and will continue improving through investments in network technology. When we were first looking at these e-bikes, I read the reviews. What they talked about was an e-bike grin, and I had no idea what an e-bike grin was, but the first time I powered that bike up, I had the biggest smile on my face. It was unbelievable, because unless you own one or have driven one, you really have no idea what that feeling is like. It's, it's, uh, it's hard to describe. Who can you rip? Folks, we are back. And we can also see the back of that one kid. She was getting a little tired in the position she was in watching her iPad, so she's made the switch. Young fella there on his uh, on his electronic device, he's still in the same position. Speaking of positions on the scoreboard, we're in the same position we were at the start of the game, all tied up. We can't ask for a better, tighter game than this. Well, you see that one yellow rock off to the side and the red in the rings off to the side. That's because Clyder Clyder have elected to use their pup, pup, pup power play. There's going to be a lot of guards out there. Uh, I think there's been a couple draws that have come up short. Because if I know anything about draws coming up short, you know, I, I know that. Howard, let us know if you're still tuned in watching the game from Mana Toilet. Glad to have you with us here. Teresa, Clint the Cricket. All thank you guys for chiming in on the live chat on the Curling Zone feed. It's great to see where all our viewers are tuning in from and having a little fun with us. Well, the fella above... Uh, Dean Clyder don't look all that impressed. He's just buying time until puck drop for the Broncos. <laughs> Riley the Rocket coming with, as my man Trevor Bothrow would claim. Parking lot wait here, looking to clear some guards. Absolute disaster. And that's not something they want with hammers to have all the forefoot plugged up, am I right? Well, you got three guards up, and one's lying shot rock in the back of the button. I would think Sherry Justin and Chad Grove are okay with the way this is shaping up here. But as you mentioned, Chris, mixed doubles, uh, you could get 
momentum swings at any moment, so. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said there. I lost focus. Jill Springer is intently watching to see who the winner of this sheet will be behind the glass. And uh, now, for some reason, I'm all, I'm all commentator shy. They're playing in the artist. They have a spot already in the semifinals tomorrow at 9 a.m. That is correct. Garrett, the big unit Springer, they played three excellent games. They were absolutely dialed in. And they rolled the A event quite easy, easily, along with Stephen Lay Schlong and Nancy Martin. Looks like Mr. and Mrs. Springer are doing some reconnaissance for a potential uh, opponent tomorrow morning. Parking lot wait coming right at you, folks. Ryland gets one and tickles the other one over, but you know, kind of blocks a draw on that side. I think uh, the Just Grow combo will be just as happy to keep tossing center guards up on the center line. Because that rock on the back of the button is their best chance to steal a point and win this game. Now, where do you put this, Chris? Do you go uh, in the two two spot with this, or do you come right in the top 12 to guard that rock? You are looking to throw a halfway guard, I'm afraid. Right on the center line, splitting it would be best, halfway. I would say that's just about pu -pu 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 perfect. Starting to be a bit of a buzz out in the lobby. I think it's getting close to puck drop for the Swift Current Broncos. Dean Clyder starting to muscle around there. He was in a bit of a slumber there for a while. Oh, he's standing up. He's uh, always looking for a timeout. But, of course, timeout's got to come from the ice. Dean contemplated doing jumping jacks there. He certainly wanted to come out and have a quick chat, but there is very minimal time left remaining for this Clyder Clyder team with a couple shots still to come. We're in for a ring a ding dandy here, folks. My boy Howard still watching from Mana Toilet. Rough rider her path, though. Well, if I pulled out a dictionary and looked up the word absolute disaster, what do you think it would show or say? Well, that's guard situation for uh, Team Clutter right now. They, uh, if you, you got to like what you're seeing here. If you're Sherry and Chad, they got a, um, a, a nice yellow one there right nicely hidden behind the cover. So advantage uh, Sherry and Chad. For a steal here for the win. Now, do you come right in the house with this, Chris, or are you you garden top of the you you got dang right you come right into the house top of the butt. That's called putting the old foot on the old throat. Sherry looks to be about a foot wide here with this draw. I don't think she's coming into the rings with how wide this one is. Need this to start walking over if it can. And it's going to leave Madison Clyder either an outturn draw or the double. And they're calling in Father Dean to have a conference. Father Dean, more like Father Time. <laughs> now, what do you think is the easier shot here, Chris? You have uh, you you could play a straight run back on the red one on the center line, or draw out to draw as you mentioned. If you were 
playing right now, what would you play? You know what? They're all difficult shots here. I think you have to completely forget about every single rock that's in play and just play your last stone draw to the button for your one. If you're heavy, you do have backing, but you are going to need it to do some curling once it passes that guard. Can't be a pilot time left on the time clock. Nope, they do not. They have uh, just 38 seconds left for Team Collider. So, but they do have the remaining timeout, so they have uh, plenty of time. She could take her time. So here we go, out turn draw. Madison Kleider with Ryland, brother Ryland on the sweep for a chance to, to qualify and go to the playoffs of the provincial mixed doubles in Swift Current. Hairs by that first guard. Now does it have enough weight to get there? It does! Helmet Beautiful up. draw. One cherry for the Glider team, and they advance to the playoffs here in Swift Current Saskatchewan. I told Beautiful you at draw. the start of this, man, it was going to be a ring a ding daddy, and that's exactly what we got, isn't it, Tudor? It, it lived up to its billing. The, uh, these two teams finished with an opponent of each other in the round robin, so uh, we got more of the same, and look forward to watching with you tonight, Chris. Excellent. One quick shout out to Jill Springer there. Just want to say hi. I see you there behind the glass. Thank you to all our viewers that have tuned in from Montana, Manitoba, South Carolina, near and far. Thanks for tuning in. You have the Bukarak Bukarak who advanced to the playoffs and the Clyder Clyder advancing to the playoffs. We will be back tonight, 8 p.m. to watch the Duke of Bor battle it out against Bukarak on the live stream. My name's Chris Heikert. Along with me, Trevor Bothman, we thank you guys for tuning in this evening. We will be back shortly. Tell your friends, we're going to have some fun tonight, folks. Take care, and go Broncos, and go Riders. Saskatchewan, you know SaskTel because we're everywhere. Because being everywhere keeps us connected to you. With SaskTel sponsorships, we get to be part of your community. We're here with you and we're here for you. It's easy to get started. All you need to do is apply. SaskTel cares. Always has, always will. To apply for sponsorship, visit sastel.com slash sponsorships.